Hello and welcome to this module. In this module, we are going to talk about the topic Satzfrage. In English, sentence question or rather decision question. In this module, you're going to learn how to build these kind of questions and how to answer them. So let's start. In order to introduce you to this topic, I will give you some examples for the Satzfrage. Let's read them together. First example. Heist du Anna? Is your name Anna? Wohnt er in Manila? Does he live in Manila? Kommt sie aus Marokko? Is she from Marokko? Bist du 23 Jahre alt? Are you 23 years old? Spielst du Fußball? Do you play football? And when we look at these questions, we will see similarities in their structure. So let's take a deeper insight to it. The first example says, wohnt er in Manila? In English it is, does he live in Manila? When we look at the structure, we will see that the first part of the question is the verb. Wohnt, live, verb. Second part is er, he, it's the subject. Who is this about? Er, he. In Manila, object is the last part. And that's basically the structure of the Satzfrage. It is always verb, subject, object. Wohnt er in Manila? You can build every question with that structure. So, for example, if you want to build the question, do you play football? We know for, uh, play is spielen, du is you, and football is fußball. So the structure of the Satzfrage is verb, subject, object. Verb spielst, subject, du, object, fußball. Spielst du fußball? And that's the question that you see here. So now we, we build a Satzfrage. Spielst du Fußball? Verb, subject, object. And this is how every Satzfrage is built. When we compare it to the W-Frage that we learned in, an, in another module, we will see differences because as we learned for the W-Frage, you always need a question word. Like in the example, wer, who, you can use, who, you can use, wo, where, you can use, wann, when, um, doesn't matter what, but every W-Frage needs a question word, a Fragewort. Wer bist du? Who are you? The structure is Fragewort, Verb, Subject. Question word, verb, subject. And that's a structure that we learned. Now we have the Satzfrage, our new topic. And for the Satzfrage, you don't need any question word. You just need a verb, a subject, and an object in this order. So, wohnst du in Manila? Verb, subject, object. That's the, that's the um, structure. Uh, so it's different to the W-Frage. Now, when we look to the answers of those questions, we will see uh, similarities. There are no big differences. When you look at the answer of the W-Frage, we see Ich bin Anna. I am Anna. Subject, verb, object. That's what we learned. That's how every simple sentence is built. Subject, verb, object. When we look to the answer of the Satzfrage, Ja, ich wohne in Manila. Yes, I live in Manila. Ich 
subject, wohnen, verb in Manila, object. Same structure, but there's one difference, uh, one difference because um, the Satzfrage always needs to be answered with yes or no. Ja or nein. That's what you see here. So when you answer uh, Satzfrage, you will, you will always have to answer it with yes or no. And what follows is the normal structure of a sentence. Yes, ich wohne in Manila. Other examples are, um, the answer to the question, bist du Anna? Are you Anna? Verb, subject, object is, ja, yes, ich bin Anna. Subject, verb, object. I am Anna. That's the answer to every Satzfrage uh, or the structure of every answer. Um, when we look at other uh, answers and questions, kommt sie aus Marokko? Is she from Marokko? The answer is nein, no, sie kommt nicht aus Marokko. When you need to deny something, you have to use the word nicht, not after the verb. Yeah. So if you answer a question with no, you also have to use the word no. But still, same structure. Sie, subject, kommt, verb, nicht aus Marokko, object. No, she's not from Marokko. Bist du 23 Jahre alt? That's the Satzfrage. Are you 23 years old? Or verb, bist du, subject, 23 years old, 23 Jahre alt, object. And the answer is, ja, comma, ich bin 23 Jahre alt. Yes, I am. 23 years old. Typical, uh, typical structure. Ich, subject, bin, verb, 23 Jahre alt, object, the rest. Yeah. And um, that's basically all you need to know to build the Satzfrage and to answer it. I'm happy that you watched this video and I hope we see us in the next video.